Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mitsuko, so thank you so much for watching this video. So today I wanna to do a simple everyday makeup look for spring, you know, a fresh face, glowy skin, and I do wanna try a new blush that I recently got from Chanel. So this is the Water Fresh Blush, and I have it in the shade Deep Apricot. I ended up buying this one at Nordstrom during Easter weekend, and Unfortunately, Nordstrom is closing all of their stores in Canada, so I thought I was going to get a good deal when I went there, but nothing from Chanel was on sale. So I ended up purchasing this blush at full price, which is around $70 Canadian. I don't know what it is in USD, but I'll put it on the screen. Now, I want this to be very simple and just easy, so I'm not using a lot of products. So I'm adding the Milk Hydro Grip Primer all over my face, and I'm going to give it some time to, you know, dry a little bit and then i'll go in with my foundation so on the eyes i'm using the hourglass foundation this is in the shade chestnut and i want this to be super simple and easy so i'm using this as a as my concealer and it's the perfect shade for me for an everyday look just adding this all over my lid and it's going to work and then i'll add a blush on top i really like using this foundation on my lids because it does not crease and technically you don't have to set it but I like to do it just to be safe. And it gives me a nice amount of coverage and the shade is beautiful. It's a nice reddish brown on my skin. Truly like that, just a tad more. And I like to bring that also close to my nose bridge. So I'm going to mix these two together. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau, and I have the Fenty Ease Drop. This is in the shade Bronze Jasper. The two together is just beautiful. Now to conceal, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Concealer. This one is in the shade MD26. And I'm going to mix it with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This one is in the shade Medium 3 Praline. And just a little bit of that, just because it's so bright. Just using the leftover concealer because I feel like I'm missing that brightness. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to contour, I want it to be very simple. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This one is in the shade deep, and a little bit of that. So this is the packaging for it. Now you get a total of 15 mil. So this is the apricot. And I believe this comes in six shades. So this blush is described as a water fresh hydrating blush with micro droplet pigments. This is meant to give you a natural finish, also a healthy looking, glowing skin, like a glow from within, which is what I prefer. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now let's swatch it and see. So it's recommended to use a pea size. You put it on the back of your hand and then you can either use your fingers to tap it on your cheeks or wherever you wanna apply it on your face. Or if you don't wanna use your fingers, you can always use a brush. So I'm planning on trying both just to see. You can see the micro droplets in there and there's no fragrance. Let's see, I'm going to mix it. So that's what you get now i do have to keep mixing it just so it's uniform it's drying pretty fast actually it's still a little bit wet so i'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit more and then in the meantime i'm going to do a comparison now the shades are pretty similar actually so this is chanel this is fieldling and then this is orange wine i think these two are very similar clean the back of my hand i'm going to put a pea size 
this much. And I'm going to try my fingers first. So let's see, I'll mix it. So it's suggested to apply it on the back of your hand, take the blush, put it on your cheeks. Okay. Really pretty. Now, you know I love anything orange, <laughs> anything terracotta, so this is right up my alley. Really pretty. I find that it's mixing with my foundation, so maybe the application might be better with a brush. But so far, the color payoff is there. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more from the back of my hand, whatever I have left over, and then dab it. See if it's better. Okay, it looks like it's also buildable, which is nice. Now, had I known that this shade was really close to the one I already have from Frank Beauty, I probably would have gone for the other shade. Um, I think it's called Bronze. Maybe I should have gone for that one instead. Putting another drop, this much, and I'll use a brush this time. Okay, it's a little bit lighter, more diffused with the brush. I think what I'm going to do is apply it again. I put another pump. And I'm going to mix it with the brush on the back of my hand and then scoop it and then dab it. See if it's better. Yeah, a lot better. I find it easier to use a brush to apply it. Okay, bring that up to my temple. Also put that on my nose. I'm using this from Yves Saint Laurent just to refresh my concealer. Time to set everything using the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder in the shade medium two. And I'm not baking, I'm just really setting everything. Okay, and then using a little bit of the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Meza just to set the rest of my face. Just lightly set. You can still see the glow peeking through. I have a mole on my nose and I just want to make sure it stands out, so I'm adding this on top of it. I don't have freckles, but I have DPN and then you can see the texture here. So I just want to make sure they stand out. So I'm doing the same thing, just adding this on top. I do want to add a little bit of shimmer on my lids. So I'm using Format, which is a beautiful blush from MAC. And I'm putting that all over my lid. And the shimmer is very subtle, so this should be totally fine. It won't be overpowering for me. So that's all for the face. I'm going to set everything with the Milk Hydro Grip. So on my lips, I'm adding Makeup by Mario. This is the Moisture Glow and Bronze Glow. So my final thoughts for the blush, I think it is a beautiful blush. I do love the shade on my skin. I like that it's buildable and I love anything orange and terracotta. So this is perfect for me. It's pretty easy to apply if you have a good brush and if you like to use your fingers, then you will love this. I don't recommend using a sponge for this because the sponge will not work. Now, when it comes to these two, I feel like they're pretty similar, like the shades are similar. They're both liquid, not exactly the same formulation. I mean, this one has the pigment droplets. I think the Freck blush is a lot easier to use just because, you know, it's liquid, it's one shade, you don't have to mix anything. You just put it on your cheeks and you're good to go. This is also buildable. It will give you a natural finish. This one as well. I do think that this has a more natural finish on my skin. Um, it's a lot more effortless. It is definitely buildable, but 
it takes a little bit more work than this one also the price difference this is around $70 and then this one I believe is around 40 I think for the price you might as well go with this one from Fred Beauty so overall I think the blush from Chanel is pretty nice I do like it on my cheeks and I do plan on using it often so that's everything for today thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to let me know what you think and if you haven't done it already give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i'm truly appreciated thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time